the season is beginning to shift and the first signs of the change were noticed on the oak trees. The colors of their leaves are transitioning and the branches are loaded with acorns. The garden is also abundant with a variety of vegetables and flowers that differ from what was abundant in July. Seasonal shifts are a good time to focus on daily routines. Just as much as we wish for them to remain the same, there's a lot of newness that comes with every shift in the season. For years, mornings were a chaotic blur. The day would start with a rush and I'd find myself constantly playing catch up. I used to think it was the world that was moving too fast, but the truth was I was the one out of sync. I stumbled upon the idea of a slow morning routine but it seemed like a luxury for those without the responsibilities. Yet, with a gentle nudge from a yoga teacher, I changed everything. She suggested small, achievable steps to create a calmer start to the day. I began with a simple cup of jasmine green tea and a short yoga session. Slowly this evolved into a ritual that grounds me for the day ahead. Waking at 5 a.m. might sound extreme, but it's become my peaceful sanctuary. Today you'll see how I incorporate self-care, homekeeping, and creativity into my morning. From crafting a soothing room spray to tending to my house and its needs, it's about finding balance and joy in the simple things. As I was starting to pay more attention to the items I was buying. One of the first things I learned how to make was a natural room spray. It requires very few ingredients and once you have them on hand, you can make so many bottles of room spray for pennies. I do love to put fresh herbs into my room spray and let them diffuse. It adds an additional element of plant magic that I just find delightful. Every morning I choose one thing that needs to be done around my home. Typically, this might be a project I'm not looking forward to doing, like vacuuming the sofa, but it's something that needs to be done. And I find that if I get those big items crossed off my list first thing in the morning, the day goes very successfully from that point on. It may seem very simple, but resetting a room at the start of the day can feel so refreshing, especially when you get to have a little treat like a natural room spray to add to it at the end of it all. The 
the garden is alive with all kinds of flowers and vegetables and fruits. It's this time of year that I love picking little bouquets from the garden and gathering the herbs that need to be dried and stored for the winter. There's typically more than I could ever use and so I love to create a gift basket full of garden goodies for my friends and family. I make so many of these every year that I designed printable gift tags that say a gift from the garden. I've put these on my website and you can get the link in the show description. I use all kinds of handmade and thrifted items to create these baskets, including the baskets themselves that I love to thrift. I also tend to make the tea towels I include from upcycled tablecloths or other cloth I might have on hand. Some of my favorite garden items to include this time of year are fresh vegetables, but when those may be in short supply, I always include fresh flowers, infused honey, farm fresh eggs, and of course, dried herbs. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching this week's video. I'm so happy you're here and I hope that today's video was inspiring and insightful. Although this is the routine that I have been enjoying, hold on, the doggies are here. Come here, we have a visitor. <laughs> so what I was saying is, is, although this is my routine and one that has really worked for me, I encourage you to find what works best for you. It's okay if it takes a little while. They're so busy today, sorry. <laughs> but it's okay if it takes a little while to find a rhythm that works for, for you and your daily needs. I hope that my routine that I've shared here with you is helpful as you are planning your own days, especially if you are looking to incorporate a slower rhythm to your mornings. I know it can be very hard. I too have lots of responsibilities in the morning and hence is why I have to get up at 5 a.m. It is what it is. <laughs> but I have found that having those few minutes that are mine in the morning have really made a big difference, especially about how I feel about the rest of the day making that the tea and then doing my morning yoga routine followed by one of the bigger tasks that I know has to be accomplished that day, especially when it has to do with my own home. I can then go and do all the other responsibilities I have in my day and feel very grounded and calm. So I hope that this is inspiring and that you go forth and make the most of, of what you have. So I encourage you to just take a look at the available time you have in your morning and see if you can carve out 30 minutes to an hour 
uh, where you can fill it in with your own self-care. I think you'll see a big difference. Thanks again for watching. I would love to hear from you. Please leave a comment or send me a message on the community page. And I look forward to seeing you here again soon. Thank you and be well. Bye-bye.